but one of my classes are online and I usually don't go to that class because um, I don't really see the point. <laughs> so I have the option of going there in person, but I don't really feel the need to unless I need help in that class. And then, since I don't think I need help in that class right now, I haven't been going in person, I've just been going online. So today, I started another math class because I did like a self-accelerated for the first one, so now I'm taking my second math class, which is pre-cal, and um, I gotta go get the book for it today, which gives me a reason to get out of my room. Most of the time, I um, maybe go out of my room just to get food and then come back. None of my friends are even on campus, so I'm usually just talking to them on my phone, um, which is fine, really. And um, I've got a lot to keep me occupied. Like I've got games and Netflix and movies and the internet and a whole lot of stuff to do. So I'm gonna go get dressed so that I can go to the bookstore and get the book that I need for my second math class so that I can finally start that so that I won't be late for um, the stuff that I have to do so that my assignments won't be late. Okay, yes, talking is hard. <laughs> That was my first try to transition. How to turn out? <laughs> so I have to wash my cloth ones, but I do have these two different colors of disposable ones. I'm thinking we're gonna go with blue today. So, I gotta make sure that I actually know what book I'm getting, so I'm gonna pull that up on my phone, and then, um, you'll just see me walking from now on. <laughs> So, since I don't feel like doing work right off the bat, I'm gonna clean my room. Just looking for a little background noise. Bro, this doesn't even fit in the binder that I had this other book in. I'm using some old uh, wire that I had, and I'm just gonna make it into my own kind of binder. So, there's that. Okay, so this kind of worked. Nice. <laughs> My room's clean. If you actually want a tour, I can do that, but I thought that wouldn't be the vibe for this, so I'm just not going to do it. And I realized that I haven't eaten, and it is... It's almost 12, so I'm going to go ahead and eat. I don't really eat breakfast because I usually wake up late, and then I have class right after, but since I don't have a class this morning, I was able to get a lot of stuff done.
I'm gonna let air in because that helps with health. I don't know. It's not gourmet, but it's as good as it's gonna get. Usually I just stay in my pajamas all day and like change my shirt if I have a class. Cause you know, you gotta look presentable. Um, so, this is not how I expected to spend my sophomore year. So wait, let's back up a bit. Freshman year, which was a few months ago. Um, it was before spring break. I was gonna go on a trip with my family, and I ended up going on the trip. I had heard about COVID and everything that was going on, and then I thought that it wasn't gonna be that bad, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Everyone said this before, which is exactly how I felt. So, um, I ended up going on the trip, um, New Orleans. It was amazing, wonderful, 10 out of 10, would go again. Um, you know, some bumps in the way, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> I talk about it more, but that that's for like another video. But, um, so people started to leave and it started getting more empty, especially on Bourbon Street. And that's because COVID was spreading and things were getting bad, people were shutting things down. So, um, thankfully I was able to leave right before things got really bad and like you couldn't even travel. So, um, I ended up staying home, finishing up the semester online and that was fine. It was weird, but I got through it. I didn't really learn much because it was a different setting and I'm better with in person, but I learned to adapt to it and honestly, online learning isn't that bad. In fact, I learn my math more easily by doing it by myself and watching videos and stuff. So there's that. The only reason why I'm on campus is because I didn't know, nobody knew what was going to happen next semester so I could only get this single room if I went ahead and got in it now. I wouldn't be able to get in next semester so I was like okay, I guess that means I'm going to be here. So I've just been here chilling, surviving, and trying to stay safe and whatever, and all my classes online except for the one, as I mentioned earlier. Oh, something that I forgot to mention, I'm editing this now so I thought I would put this in there. Um, so it was before spring break, and my roommate at the time had gotten really sick. We thought that it was maybe bronchitis and, um, they got some antibiotics that helped a lot with that. I got some soup and that helped. Um, we didn't know what was going on, just thought it was a sore throat and a fever and stuff like that. So just went with that and tried to go with it accordingly. So um, eventually they got better. And that was maybe like a week or two after initially getting sick. So um, after finishing up the semester, they tell me that they had COVID. Um, I got tested before that, before um, the news of being told that. So um, my test came back negative. So that means that I didn't currently have it and I still don't think that I have it. Um, but the fact that someone that close to you could have it and you wouldn't even know is crazy. Like, it can impact you in a really weird way because I had no idea. I thought that, um, for some reason, I thought that my city would be safe even though it wasn't. Because um, the school that was a couple hours from us had a breakout 
and that was initially the reason why they shut down every other university. So yeah, um, my roommate freshman year had COVID. Um, fortunately, they um, recovered, and fortunately, I didn't get sick. Um, yep. This is just why this is why it's so important to wear masks and social distance and wash your hands and everything that you touch on a daily basis. Cause you really don't know. You really don't know. Alright, onward with the rest of this. that's important to do during this health crisis is to take vitamins and I forgot to take mine this morning so now I'm taking them now now I'm taking them now and stay hydrated okay it is now 2 o'clock and I have an hour and 15 minutes until the class that I have to have today so I'm gonna work on my project. Um, I think we're doing critiques today. That's what we've been doing for the past couple of weeks because it's not due until next week, I think. I'm doing an infographic and we got to choose what the topic was. I chose to do like zodiac signs and how they um, interact with actual personality traits. And I also have to work on my voting poster. I'm making a poster for another one of my classes about voting. And that's due tomorrow. And the reason why all of my classes, except for one of them, is online is because um, two of them are art classes because I'm a visual communications major, which is basically just graphic design. Well, that's my emphasis. So, um... You know, that's not really thought of as a class where you would need to be in person. My math class was already going to be online because of there being too many people in one class. And I guess it will be hard to figure out how to space that out. Because there was only one class period to begin with, once a week. So that wouldn't have been a good situation. And... Oh! One of my other classes, or my last class that I'm taking, is a comic book class. It's basically just talking about comics and how they came about, analyzing them, and looking at stories and stuff. So far, it's been pretty fun. Um, that one's the one that I can do in person, but it's optional because... Uh, I guess because it's English and also an honors class. But, um, I'm... If I don't have to go, I'm not going to, and if I don't want to go, I'm not going to.
at your at your um, poster, right? And I was kind of like, "You're good. You're you're um, you're uh, muted." I swear, the worst thing, one of the worst things about learning graphic design is noticing these small little details that you mess up on right before you think that you're finished and that you can finally send it in and be done with it. That tiny little gap. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love being a perfectionist. finished and I already ate and I'm tired <laughs> it's only like 11 I think yeah it's only 11 and I'm so tired I'm so tired now that I'm finally done da -da -da. Before I end this, I just wanted to add in how I had to clean everything a lot more often than usual. I was lucky enough to have some cleaning supplies for my room, so I have to wipe down everything that I touch often, which is like the handles of doors and my keyboard, my phone, my remote and stuff like that. I have a big thing of hand sanitizer and had to clean the bathroom more often. So, on top of not really having that much to do, there's always cleaning, because you gotta be safe with that. But, um, alright, that was just for this part of that. Okay, back to your regularly scheduled program. Tom Nook awaits. So, I will see you in another video. Uh, bye.